Mm. Okay. We are talking about Bad Boys. The brand new Bad Boys uh, movie that is the newest to the um, um, selection. The word for it just went out of my head. Just I know there's a word for it, but it was just like, it's here, and then it's just gone. Um, collection. The newest in the movie collection of Bad Boys. We had the very first one with Tia Leone, um, where, you know, she is a, a witness to these gangsters and stuff, and the guy's got to keep her safe, and then we've got the second one, and I'm assuming if you've seen the first one, that was a very long time ago, second one, more drug runners, more, you know, protecting people, and so on and so forth, now you've got this one, this one is a bit different, it's, it's still, you know, the protection and the bad guys, you know, good guys against bad guys, but there's more of an element to it, and this one, Will Smith's character, um, Mike Lowry, um, he's a bit more featured up front with it. You know, in the other ones you had, you know, um, the character Marcus, a lot of it was him and his family, and you still have a lot of him and his family in this one, but you get a little bit more of a background on Mike Lowry and his past. You know, some stuff that you didn't know, you never knew, you know, from his other movies. It is starting to get really cold. And I'm in yoga pants and a t-shirt. And I can't put my jacket on because my, my lapel mag is attached to it. And I'll screw up the volume. Oh my god. Okay. Gotta finish this fast because I still gotta move a freezer into the house. Um, so yeah. Um, you get more of a of a look at like Mike Lowry's past. And you see to me, you see more of a vulnerable side to Mike Lowry. You know, you're used to seeing like Marcus um, having a vulnerable side with his wife and with his kids. Um, and, but you get to see more of a vulnerable side to Mike Lowry this time. You see more of his past and, you know, um, you find out a little bit more about why he is the way he is. You know, you get more of an insight into his persona, you know, to his person, um, which I really liked. You know, um, I, I love the Bad Boys movies. I, I honest to God, love them. Um, so, yeah, um, this is one that as soon as it comes out, I will be watching it a lot. Um, I know as soon as I watched it, I came home and watched the other two because <laughs> I'm just like, yay. Um, but it really is. And I'm trying not to, I don't do spoiler spoilers in my reviews. Um, I will tell you this. If you like the bad boys movies, you like, uh, action movies, you like cop movies, you like shoot 'em ups, you will like this movie. Period. Um, and I think the fact that it gives more of an insight to the Mike Lowry character, to me, added a whole new level to it, and I really did like it. Um, you know, in the first one, you had kind of, it was back and forth between the two of them. You were getting to, we were getting to know them. We didn't really know them. This is their first film. We're getting, you know, the partner thing. You just see a little bit of the family. In the second one, it's more about the family on Marcus's side. There's still the back and forth between the partners. Um, we know them a little bit better now, but in this one, it's, um, it's, you know, they're established. We know them well, you know, we've seen them many times. We've seen them before, you know, we, we know who they are or do we, or do we, do we know who they are? You know, so it adds some some new little things to it. Um, I really do like that. I really do appreciate that. This was a very good uh, new addition to the collection of the Bad Boys movies. I am not a fan of sequels. I'm not. I'm not a fan of sequels um, because usually they suck. <laughs> usually the sequels suck. Um, but I can honestly say the first Bad Boys 
was awesome. The second Bad Boys was even better. And this last one, the newest one, is awesome. So so instead of getting the sequels getting bad, the sequels are getting better. I mean, the Bad Boys movies are getting better. And what is even best about what is really awesome about this, I won't say what's best, but what is awesome about this is that the ending is left open to have another movie. They leave it open to have another movie, to bring that movie in. And so they set it up at the very end to where you're like, oh, we're going to get another movie. We, we don't know when we're going to get it, but we're going to get another movie. And I am very happy about that. I hope they go ahead and make it, um, you know, really rather sooner rather than later, um, because this one was awesome. And if the next one is even half as awesome as this one, it will be fantastic. So I am freezing, so <laughs> I'm going to cut it short. Um, Grace is fine. She's like, I got a fur coat. I'm good. I didn't, I wasn't stupid. I didn't attach my lapel mic to my jacket. So, um, I did. It's, it's on my jacket. It's right here. Um, but yeah, um, it's a great movie. If you have not seen it in the theater, uh, you need to watch it as soon as it comes out, um, on Amazon or Netflix or wherever. Um, cause it's a really great movie. Um, if you have seen it, um, you try not to leave any spoilers in the comments below, um, for anyone who has not seen it and you don't want to see spoilers, maybe don't read the, uh, comments. Okay. Um, sorry, text just came through. Um, so yeah, um, let me know what you think. You can head on over to Instagram. You can leave anything in the DMs. Okay. Well, not anything. Let's let's be polite, you know. Keep y'all's clothes on. You know, I I don't need to see that. So um, just putting that out there, just in case you never know in this world nowadays. So um, yeah, but head on over the DMs. I get the DMs and stuff on Instagram faster than I do the stuff on YouTube. No clue why. But um, from myself, Heather, and Grace, who is sound asleep, um, and a very curious place. I'm freezing. I'm getting out of here. I have a text to answer. So much love. Stay strange, ladies. And stay warm. Jesus, freezing. Bye.